All right. I'm still wearing my hat that I just dunked in the stream here about five minutes ago. And uh, it almost, uh, it's kind of weird, but it almost seems like maybe it's even warmer than it was when it was dry. And it is kind of a weird sensation how that is, but this will do that very well, very effectively. And throughout this uh, series of videos, 25 or so videos, I'll show you some more things about it and uh, so you can appreciate what's here. Uh, my hands are now nice and warm in my mittens. <laughs> and uh, let me just show you those while I'm here. These are, uh, you know, they're pretty large, but they're, these are designed for sub-zero weather, uh, 20, 30, 40 or more below zero. It's one inch thick foam, a ripstop nylon on the back, a Cordura palm and thumbs. And these are all homemade, uh, homemade on our sewing machine at home. Uh, the cuffs are very large like this and oversized because they're designed to fit over the sleeve of your jacket and come well up on your arm. And they're, you know, long enough you can turn your hands like this. And, uh, and also they seal any kind of air or snow or anything getting down into your hands. So I mean you wear these, they're, they're nice and very nice and uh, comfortable. But anyway, a little more about them and I just, uh, these are, have a little loop on here and you notice the loop is positioned so that the cuff hangs down. Uh, a lot of times you see commercially made with the loop up here. Well, if you're walking around in the snow or whatever, something falls out of the tree right down your, right down your mitten. So with this, it's hanging down like this, nothing's going to fall into your mitten. And this also has a little lanyard around the front of my neck. Uh, also, in case you get into high wind or whatever, anything like that, um, you're not going to, um, you're not going to have these things blow away. So you know, that's one thing, you do not ever want to lose your mittens in the winter time. So we have some extra protections on here. And what I've got here for my uh, neck cord is this is shock cord. It's cold weather shock cord. And this stuff is, is nice because I can stretch my hands any way I want to. And, uh, and it, it, it's not awkward at all. I can use my hands just like normal. And if I need to get my, get my actual fingers out, I can just throw them off like that. I can work if it's... Uh, it's really uh, like say it's 10 20 below zero or something I have a, a little pair of contact gloves that I'll wear with fingers and uh, so I'll throw my gloves off and I'll use those so my skin's not sticking any metals or anything like that and then when I'm when I'm done with that and, and I want these back on I just shove in like that and I'm good to go so anyway that's the mittens um, I've even made them. all right uh, a few minutes ago I dunked my hat down in this icy water after I chopped a little bigger hole in the ice and uh, soaked it in there and I wrung it out and I put it back on my head and then I, in less than 60 seconds my head started feeling warm again and that's how effective this polyurethane foam is as an insulator. Uh, as I mentioned, it retains its full thickness of one inch or half inch, whatever thickness you're using. Uh, it remains, retains that insulative thickness all the time. And uh, it sheds water. It does not hold on to it, as you saw in the video before. And uh, so I'm going to do something else as I kind of wrap things up here on this particular little uh, video excursion. Uh, <clears throat> Now I'm going to take this hat, and uh, I think, I, I don't know if I got the camera position right or not, but anyway, as you can see, it's wet, okay? Alright, now, what I'm going to do is, worst case scenario, I'm putting it on, it's on my head soaking wet. I didn't wring it out or anything. Now, <clears throat> uh, now what's happening is the water's, see this? The water just, it's running out of here. 
just running down. Look at that. It's like a dang, it's like a water faucet here. <laughs> you see that? Now, even though this thing is this sop sopping wet, I'm beginning to feel a little bit of warmth around my forehead, and I'm beginning to feel a little warmth uh, around here. Now, you see, I'm still dripping. I think you can see that. I'm still dripping a lot of water. I mean, there's a there is a ton of water in that hat, and, uh, and this stuff is still it's still very warm and very toasty. And what I'm gonna do here: this fabric is not coated in any way. It's not uh, it's not waterproof or anything like that. My head is actually I'm actually feeling nice and I'm feeling pretty good now. Now you notice I didn't wring it out or anything this time. Now what I'm going to do is stick my hand down in here. All right. See that glove full of water? That mitten. I can put that on. Notice I can just squeeze my hand like that. I can squeeze the water out of it. And uh, my head, my head is now, my head's, my head's, my head is fine now. I'm feeling, I'm feeling warm. I'm not feeling any discomfort whatsoever. Now your hands are a little bit different story because it's kind of an extremity of your body. It doesn't have the blood flow like your head and the core of your body does. So, but you know, worst, worst case scenario, you fall in a stream, your stuff gets wet, whatever. Just take it like that, and it's it's cold enough. As I squeeze the moisture out of here, it's freezing, kind of freezing on the outside of here. So now this didn't get very well. Got a little bit wet dealing with all that, but uh, but now I can take and uh, put my hand down in there, and there we go. Do the same here and look at this. I'm still, I don't know if you can see it, I'm still dripping water out of my hat. Even though this hat is sopping wet, I'm still, my head is nice. My head is toasty, toasty warm. I'm going to show you how to build this hat, how to build these gloves, how to build some of these clothes so you can enjoy this stuff and uh, you can be safe in the outdoors. Uh, in fact, I think. What I'll do right now is I'll show you. There's still water is still dripping out of that hat, but notice, I don't know if you can see it from the camera angle, is absolutely saturated down here. The top of my head, this stuff, the gravity is pulling this out of here. Now, uh, see, like I say, I didn't even wring it out that time. Still fine. Look how much water I'm wringing out of here. And my head was warm. I know that's an extreme case, but it's just kind of a. And see, it's cold enough out here. As I, as I wrung that out, as I wrung that out, uh, everything kind of stuck to itself. Uh, so that's that's how cool it is. <clears throat> but um, this stuff is very effective. I love it. It's uh, one of my favorite things to wear in the winter time, and I wear versions of it all through the winter, lighter or heavier, depending on my condition. So this is Perry Peacock with Wilderness Innovation. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video and, uh, and I hope you have a blast this winter and look forward to my other videos where we show you how to make all this gear and a, and a lot of other gear and uh, make, your safe, make, make your, uh, yourself safe and, and uh, warm all winter long. So enjoy your time in the winter. Snow's starting to come down here a little more. Man, it's beautiful. I love it.